Hey everybody, welcome back to US Arc. I've just got a spur of the moment update here. Uh, amidst all of this kind of negative news and media that we've been seeing on this Competes and Yusika Act, we've got, I don't know, some, some very encouraging little updates for you. So my name is Garrett Harlow. I'm your channel host, and I've got Phil Goss, president of US Arc, on the horn here to tell us what's going on with that. Let's, let's go to Phil. Hey, Phil, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you, Garrett? So much better after seeing all this stuff. I mean, that's that's really encouraging. I know it will be for a lot of our viewers as well. Yeah, so let me fill you in on something big that happened recently. So the conference committee we've been talking about, they're going to combine the Senate and the House version of this America Competes Act. They had their first meeting. And during that meeting, which went on, I think it was five or six hours, it was a long meeting, Representative Harrell out of New Mexico actually spoke specifically on our Lacey Act amendments and said these should not be included in the final bills. Also snuck into the bill are several amendments to the Lacey Act, which the Natural Resources Committee never considered that threatened American jobs. The, these provisions give blanket authority to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to determine the so-called injurious species without any requirement for public input, advance notice or comment, dramatically expanding the Fish and Wildlife Service's authority to regulate movement of injurious wildlife within the United States and makes wildlife importers guilty until proven innocent. These provisions will be detrimental to the American industries such as aqu aquaculture, which are already highly regulated businesses. So obviously that was big to hear. Right in the middle of the very first meeting. Yes, the, the very first meeting and, you know, representatives were saying their piece and she was there representing the House Natural Resources and she only spoke for 30 seconds. And part of that 30 seconds was we do not want these Lacey Act amendments in there. So obviously awesome. And the reason that happened is because animal owners and businesses are voicing their opposition. So keep it going. We don't want to let off the pedal here. If we just have a hundred or a thousand people who do this, it's not going to work. I mean, we need thousands and tens of thousands of people. And obviously that's happening because you could see our talking points reflected in her, in her talk. So uh, again, to everyone out there, um, U.S. ARC members, National Aquaculture Association, there's a Ferret Association, a Marine Mammal Association, a pet advocacy network. Who else? I mean, there's a lot of groups that are voicing opposition. Oh, we've we've already heard back since starting this channel about like a lot of invertebrate keepers, um, the hermit crab uh, keepers out there in the United States. It's so cool to see everybody coming together. And then I don't know about you, but as I'm reading the comments on these videos, I see a lot of people that are saying, hey, you know, I wrote in to my representatives and they gave me the standard reply or they said they backed the, the uh, house version of the bill, different discouraging things that people are getting discouraged. But it's so cool to know that in, during the very first reading out of a 3,000 some page bill, right? Uh, they're already zeroing in on the problems with those four pages that affect our industry because of you guys writing in. Yes, absolutely. So the House bill contained a lot of stuff that the Senate bill didn't. So our objective from the beginning has been to keep all the extra stuff in the House bill out of the final version. And hopefully if things keep going like this, we'll get that done. So again, thank you to everyone voicing opposition. That's a big part of it. And the important part now is that, you know, those of you guys who have been making points, your points are being heard and read off at least by certain members of this committee. I think the, the most effective thing for us at this point, I don't know if you agree, Phil, is that if those messages that are being read out loud for the official record are falling on the ears of other people who have also been receiving emails, letters, you know, uh, having in-person meetings, we're trying to get a meeting with... Um, with Senator Toomey from Pennsylvania right now, I've been in contact with his office, then they will also be educated on the negative effect of those four pages with this bill. Make sure that it's pulled before it ever even has to go to a vote, right? Yes, absolutely. Just again, keep contacting your legislators. And on top of Representative Harrell, there were several representatives who talked about all the extra stuff that was in the House bill that was not in the Senate bill and sections that were not germane to what this bill is about. In many ways, the legislation before the conference has turned into a partisan catch-all, littered with policies that are redundant, unproductive, and not germane. So uh, again, all that is, again, hopefully gonna carry over and we'll keep these 
Lacey Act amendments out of the final version of this bill. And as I understand, uh, maybe you can give some insight to this too. All these extra add-ins are the things that are going to, to cause uh, the, the delay of that process. So as they continue to see that, hey, this part of this bill is completely irrelevant to, the, to what it is intended to do, those, in my mind, is the most likely part to get cut out and say, okay, these are points, sticking points that we're going to argue over. The more of those that we can cut out, the quicker they'll be able to pass the rest of the bill. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's a great point, Garrett. And, you know, the U.S. ARC is pointing this out, but I know we've posted a lot of information. So the Senate version of this bill is what they call bipartisan. That means it's supported by both Democrats and Republicans. The House bill was what they call partisan, which means it was only supported by, by the Democrats. It started out as a bipartisan effort, but then a bunch of stuff got added at the end that Republicans never got to see. And when it passed the House, it was pretty much a split vote. Uh, the Democrats who have majority in the House voted to pass, pass it on to the Senate and the Republicans in the House voted against it because all this extra stuff was added onto it, including these Lacey Act amendments. It is my hope that we will not be bogged down in this conference committee by political agendas. Unfortunately, the partisan set of policies that were part of the House bill um, as it related to the trade title of the Competes Act really do nothing to advance our goal, which is sending a strong message to China. I'm concerned about the House version and uh, that uh, it was uh, not bipartisan in nature. Uh, so I'm glad we can use this process to uh, course correct. Again, the takeaway there is that the Senate version is bipartisan, supported by both parties, and the House bill is not. We want to keep all that extra stuff from the House bill out and we'll be good to go. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Phil. I appreciate you jumping on. Thank all of you guys for tuning in and listening. And thank you, thank you so much for joining us in this effort to write into your representation so that you can take part in the legal processes that allow us to live the version of our lives that we want to live, which includes these animals. Yeah, again, as we've been saying from the beginning, just keep the foot on the pedal right now. Even if you've already contacted your legislators, do it again. Email them, call them, especially phone calls. That's That really holds a lot of weight. So, it, I mean, literally that can be done in 15 to 20 seconds. We have a couple lines there for you to read right on our alert. So just uh, just give them a phone call and, and say, hey, you oppose this stuff and, and keep it going and, and we'll stop this. From those of us here at USR to those of you guys who are watching in YouTube land, thank you very much. Good night, America. <laughs>